Hey everybody, Steve Dangle here. Why did I, that was my sports radio voice. Hey everybody, Steve Dangle here. Hi, I'm Steve, this is how I talk. Back with another edition of Steve's Dang It's. We're going through all the teams, their worst dang it of the year. And this one we have the Minnesota Wild. Weird team, weird season. Weirder off season. But the dang it's only come from this past season, and you know me, big fan of goalie giveaways, big fan. Team scoring on their own net. So naturally, this clip features the New Jersey Devils. On the positive end of this experience, here's Devin Dubnik doing something, although I'm not sure what. And now Parisi has it. He's hit by Palmieri, has to play it back to Dubnik, who then sweeps it in behind. Palmieri out front, he sure scores. And the Devils win it. What is it you would say you do here? Devin Dubnik, overtime. It's it's the time you want to be in. You want to be making big saves. You want to be the hero of the game. Or maybe you don't want to face any shots at all. Well, hey, I tell you what, you know how you prevent that is you don't give the puck to the other team, Devin. He gets the puck, he puts it on his backhand, and when you see a goalie do that, it's uh, how often does that work out? But they do it a lot. It's not the 90s anymore, man. Stop doing it. Are you Marty Brodeur? Okay, well, stop. Puts it on his backhand, and he throws it behind the net for Zach Parise. Hey, Former devil. Only problem is he's not looking at where Zach Parise is going. And forget the backhand. How often do no look passes from goalies work out? Well, not this time. Look at the angle. Dubnik just can't play it at a shallow enough angle so that when it comes back across the front, it's just tapped in. The worst part of it all is they actually get two cracks at it. And unfortunately, you kind of put the puck in the other team's hands, so it doesn't stop at one crack. Nico Heischer. Ices the cake, scores in overtime, and poor Devin. And it was in Minnesota too. Hey, welcome home from the game. How'd you enjoy it? I don't want to talk about it. Speaking of fans who went to the game that night, you know what the giveaway was? Pox! That was a joke, they didn't really do that. Can you imagine what a disaster that would be? They give up the goal there and they just start hucking pucks onto the ice. Fun little side story, it has nothing to do with the Minnesota Wild. I covered game one of the 2010 OHL final. It was between Alex Petrangelo's Barry Colts and Taylor Hall's Windsor Spitfires. All the seats in the stands have a little box of macaroni and cheese underneath them to be used as a sound shaker, as a sound maker, noise maker. A lot of words there. What happens? The Windsor Spitfires score in overtime. I believe it was actually Taylor Hall. They celebrate at center ice. And you ever see 300? It's like the mac macaroni and cheese blotted out the sun. And the Windsor Spitfires did not fight in the shade. They got out of there right away because boxes of macaroni and cheese hurt. And that has what to do with the Minnesota Wild? Nothing. So it's a dang it. That is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends not, not to do that. It was a bad giveaway idea. I appreciate the effort, but those poor Spitfires.